Today's driver update has added in virtual super resolution. This is a new feature, uh, you know, kind of like the idea of DLSS, but it's using it on live streaming video to enhance an image. And what you're seeing here is me testing it out on, well, myself. So this is just my 100,000 subscriber celebration Q&A video. You can see it captured at 1080p on a 4K screen and then upscaled. On the left now, we're looking at the normal 4K because this was an actual 4K footage and then compared on the right hand side to the upscaled image. This is 1080p uh, stream on the right, but then it's trying to upscale to 4K. So now you can compare side by side. Now, there's multiple levels of capture going on here, right? Because I'm capturing a YouTube video and then showing a YouTube video of that. So there's a lot going on here. Here you can see the 1080p normal stream versus the 4K normal stream in the middle versus the upscaled 1080p to 4K on the right. And I can definitely say the upscaled image doesn't look exactly like the actual 4K image, but it does look sharper and smoother than the one on the left. Here, let's zoom in and make my face way too big. Uh, so this should help people who don't have a 4K screen to compare. And you can see the split line down the middle. So the upscaled image compared to the not upscaled image is certainly sharper and smoother. But like I said, I feel like you can tell there's a bit of smoothing weirdness happening, like almost like, you, you know, one of those selfie pictures. But, uh, you know, that was showing on an actual normal human face. But what if you're like streaming low quality uh, footage of a video game or something like that? Now, be very careful. Don't pay attention to the frame rate counter in the top left. This is a YouTube video that I uh, of a benchmark that I've run that I'm looking at here. On the left hand side, you're seeing the video streamed at 720p, full screen on a 4K monitor and then captured. I'm just using uh, Nvidia's like shadow play GeForce Experience capture thing to do this on an RTX 4080. Anyway, on the right hand side, you're seeing the same YouTube video played again at 720p, full screen on the 4K screen, but using VSR to um, try to upscale it to 4K. Now, what you're looking at here though is both of these are upscaled using VSR, but VSR has more than one level and Nvidia claims that these different levels can, um, you know, the, the higher level, the highest level is four. It goes from a scale of one to four. You're seeing one on the left, four on the right, and it should use more processing power on the higher levels. And they're saying that it's not suitable to some of the lower end cards, 70 class cards or higher on the RTX 3000 or 4000 series should support the higher level. Now I'm not noticing massive differences between level one and level four. I do think there are some, uh, but I don't think it's it's anything too crazy. Now you can pause this YouTube video, rewind it uh, as much as you want. But again, you're seeing a couple levels of uh, you know compression happening on this. So this is really best to see in person, but then you can't really get the side by sides. Um, on the left here now, we're looking at a normal 4K image. So this is the same YouTube video, which was actually uploaded at 4K. So this is a 4K YouTube video on the left versus the same video, but streamed at 720p, upscaled using VSR4 on the right. Um, and again, you can definitely tell that the upscaled 720p, of course, does not quite look as good or as sharp as the actual 4K image. So I don't think anybody would have expected it to. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, you can see the side by side here. I do think that it's doing a pretty good job of sharpening and smoothing things. So it looks, uh, you know, a bit better. Uh, but again, keep in mind the, um, you know, at the end of the video, I'll talk more about what hardware you need, all of that. But let's just look at the side-by-sides a little bit more here. So this is uh, a 200% zoom on the left. And I'm showing you the same footage just kind of split down the middle. So you can see it passed from one to the other and zoomed in. On the left, we see actual 720p, not upscaled, just full screen on the 4K display. And on the right, we see the 720p upscaled image. And again, with the 200% zoom here, we should be able to see more of the, um, more of the differences, right, between the two images. Now, again, zooming in this far on a 720p image, regardless of there being a bit of upscaling, is a little bit brutal, but I thought this would be an interesting way to look at it. But if you look at like the fence and things like that, as it passes uh, between the two, I do think it 
does sharpen the image a bit. You know, it, it does definitely, there are definitely some differences here. Uh, let's look at a 1080p baseline instead of a 720p baseline, because 720p is asking for quite a bit for a 4K upscale. You're seeing the normal 1080p again, but captured in a 4K screen um, on the left and the 1080p YouTube video upscaled to 4K using the VSR4 setting on the right. And again, I do think that it looks sharper and cleaner on the right-hand side. Um, but again, it, it doesn't look like actual 4K, but <laughs> I, I do think it does result in a uh, more pleasing image. NVIDIA says it should be able to get some of the, rid of some of the blockiness from the compression artifacts, as well as, you know, sharpening, bringing things together. But like I said, there is supposed to be some kind of a performance impact to this. So what you're seeing right, right now is with the VSR turned off and you're just seeing my task manager, the GPU 3D uh, is, usage is about 14%. Now I'm gonna kick on the super resolution to the one setting. Uh, you do activate it in the control panel uh, uh, right here, like you're seeing here. Now with this activated and now playing back that same video, we're seeing the GPU usage go up to about 34%. Now remember, this is an RTX 4080, uh, so do keep that in mind. So it's using, you know, about a third of the processing power of a 4080. Now I just bumped it up to the level two setting and Nvidia says these should use more processing power, but I'm not really seeing that reflected in task manager or anything like that. Now we're looking at the three setting and once again, things seem about the same in task manager. And again, we can go up to the level four and once again, things seem about the same. Let's show you some more of the details. Now, you guys also probably hear my kids playing in the background. Today's actually a snow day. That's why I even got to make this video so quickly after the driver update. Speaking of the driver update, uh, this is NVIDIA's official information on the topic. So RTX Video Super Resolution now available. And the idea here is using the tensor cores while you're not, not necessarily playing games. What if you're just watching videos, right? So you need a Chrome or Edge browser. The idea is that this removes the compression artifacts and upscales the video resolution. This improves video sharpness and clarity, lets people watch online content, whether from Twitch, YouTube, Netflix, or Hulu in its native resolution on high resolution displays up to 4K. Now we saw my side-by-side -side comparison. So it's definitely not getting you the actual 4K image. And I thought like on my face and things like that, it, it, there's definitely some smoothing happening there, but it does make the image sharper. And I think overall, this is a pretty cool thing. Here's, you know, a NVIDIA's uh, official screenshots. And I think we did see stuff like this happening in my video where it did sharpen and remove some of the compression artifacts um, on, the, uh, on the images. So I, I do think this is um, absolutely uh, a, a real thing. And like I said, you need uh, Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge to make it happen. Now, the other thing is, like I said, and was kind of showing you when I was monitoring the performance there, is that you have to turn it on in your NVIDIA control panel. So in the NVIDIA control panel, you go to adjust video uh, image settings. I guess I could probably zoom in on this here. And then you go to the uh, uh, RTX video enhancement and you check the box. And then you select the quality setting on a, uh, on a selection of one to four. In my comparisons, you could go back and I showed you the one and the four. Um, and I didn't find a massive difference between the two or anything. Uh, again, you have to have at this point in time an RTX 30 or 40 series GPU in order to enable this. Um, no current support for the 20 series. I think I saw somewhere that they probably will eventually make it available on the 20 series, but that's just not currently available. Um, now they're saying regarding the quality levels that the higher quality levels will result in sharper images and improved artifact reduction. Higher quality levels require additional GPU resources. So if users need more horsepower to run creative apps or games while playing video, uh, the quality level can be adjusted. Now, like I said, in my little just monitoring of the GPU usage on my RTX 4080, I saw the GPU usage go up by enabling it at all, but the differences between one through four didn't seem to be noticeable. Uh, I don't know, maybe on other GPUs, I was just testing it on a 4080, there would be uh, more of a difference uh, noticeable there. It says all 30 and 40 series RTX GPUs are able to comfortably upscale using quality level one. And the 70 class, so this would be, I guess, 30 or 40, 70 class or a higher 
um, should play most content at quality level four. So interesting stuff there. They do have an FAQ. Uh, and there's some more stuff going on in this driver update, but that's uh, most of it. Uh, hopefully you guys found this interesting and found the tests useful. Like I said, you could go back and watch the different comparisons I made there. You can pause it uh, at different places to kind of see a freeze frame side by side. But remember that what you're seeing is a YouTube compressed version of my already, uh, you know, re compressed recording of the actual videos. So if you have capable uh, hardware, a 30 or 40 series GPU, I would recommend actually just trying it out for yourself a little bit and seeing what you think, although then you don't get the side by side. So anyway, cool stuff. And I really don't think there's any reason to complain about NVIDIA throwing more features out there. And um, it's kind of adding to their software stack of stuff beyond just playing games. And that's where NVIDIA seems to uh, be pushing a lot of their advantage, right? Um, AMD a lot of times is offering better straight up gaming performance per dollar, but then with NVIDIA, a lot of times there's these other software uh, kind of bonuses that they throw in there. It'll be interesting to see if AMD comes out with anything uh, like this, although they don't seem to be as into the uh, AI side of things. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys found this interesting. I'm gonna go play in the snow. I hope all of you have an excellent day.